all new tonight at 10, many medical professionals have received both rounds of the COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah, and Fox News' Catherine Hesso checked in with some of them to find out how they're doing. In mid-December, hospitals in St. Louis started getting their first shipment of the COVID-19 vaccines. RN Jill Kelly got her first dose of the vaccine right before Christmas, and Dr. Christy Haggett got her first dose just before the new year. Both say they felt pretty good afterwards. The next day, um, I just had a little bit of a headache and a little bit of a sore back towards the night. Um, I went to bed a little early, drank some fluids, and I felt fine the next day. I had a little bit of fatigue the next day, um, just kind of felt like I was getting sick, like I wasn't sick, but kind of how you feel right before you get sick. Um, and then the next day I woke up and was totally fine. Dr. Haggett says some people may have a sore arm. There's some arm soreness and arm tenderness, not just necessarily at the injection site, but sometimes your whole arm can be involved and that can last for 24 to 36 hours. Haggett says most people that she's talked with say that they feel fatigued the next day, but nothing to an extreme extent. One of my colleagues had scheduled it so that they didn't have to work the next day and they said they were glad they didn't have to work the next day. That being said, one of my other colleagues that did have um, pretty you know, significant symptoms as far as just not feeling well, worked a full shift the next day and was you know, able to do and perform the job just fine. RN Kelly and Dr. Haggett have both also had their second rounds of the vaccine. Haggett says it's more common to have symptoms after the second dose, but not always. I was the opposite and I had more symptoms after the first dose. I had nothing but the sore arm after the second dose and felt great and haven't had any problems since. Kelly says she had a slight headache after the second dose. Both say that any symptoms they did feel went away in 24 hours. Haggett says there's two concerns that she hears most often about getting the vaccine. One is that it could cause infertility. And there's no evidence or information that suggests that that's actually true. And two, that it was developed too quickly. There were already studies being done on other coronavirus strains prior to the strain developing. So we were already ahead of the game. Kelly and Haggett both highly encourage getting the vaccine when it's available. Reporting, I'm Katherine Hustle.